It's time to talk about yet another scam impacting folks across the country. I'm joined now by Tim Maniscalco of the Better Business Bureau serving Central Indiana. Tim, thank you again for being here. Absolutely glad to be here. We are talking about a scam today that's going to impact really anybody who's using one of those digital wallet apps. What is the scam all about? How does it work? Well, like you say, so many of us now are using these digital wallets uh, and there's a scam going around where someone will send you some money on it at someone you don't know about and say, oh, gee, I made a mistake. Uh, would you please send me that money back? So what's going to happen is you're going to say, well, gee, yeah, if somebody makes a mistake, I'm going to send you back the $200 or whatever it might be. That original money that they sent you, uh, they're going to take that back or that that's actually not going to uh, actually be on your account. So you've just given somebody a couple hundred bucks. You don't know who they are, and it was just a scam. Right. So a couple of things here. Um, you know, if someone does make a mistake on these accounts, they can actually reverse that transaction. If someone asks you to, you know, sort of reverse or give money back, don't do it. You know, you've got the control if you actually did make a mistake. So that's where a lot of people fall for this yeah. and just don't realize that uh, if, you know, you do make a mistake on a digital app, you can reverse that transaction. And, and Tim, these scammers are actually using stolen credit cards to make that initial transaction and then changing their account information so they're getting that money when you reimburse Exactly. Them. That's how it is. They're, they're, they're using stolen credit cards to actually make that initial payment and that's how the whole scam works. So it's, uh, you know, once again, just a way to try to fool you into giving someone some money on these digital apps and you're thinking hey I'm a good person you know someone makes a mistake I'm not going to keep their money and that's how people fall for it. I think that that key uh, tip there is just getting them to cancel that initial transaction but also it's probably a good idea to only use those digital wallet apps with people that you know is that right? Uh, very good very good uh, suggestion there yeah you really want to make certain that you know who you're transacting with uh, before you do that because you know anybody could be sending you money and then you're in it with somebody that you don't know who they are uh, what their background is that type of thing so absolutely so obviously some good tips there on how to avoid this but if you do unfortunately become a victim what can people do to report scams like this or any other scams yeah we've got a great website scamtracker.org you can go on there a map of the united states will come up you can hone right into Terre Haute, vigo county west central indiana see the scams that are going on and then if you have been scammed or even attempted to be scammed Go to the report a scam button right at the top uh, right hand corner. Take you just a few minutes, but that's how we keep people informed. Uh, that's the best way to make certain that uh, people know about scams. And it's a great way also to check out, you know, if you think that something has come across and you think, boy, this sounds a little fishy, I'm right. gonna go check it out. Scam Tracker is a great way to go on there and say, hey, has someone else reported something similar? Very good tip there, Tim. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. We I appreciate, always appreciate it. it. And again, if you want to see this information again or want to get that link to that scam tracker, we've got that for you on our website. That's WTHITV.com.